seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. All right. So, first things first, I've got my notes down here, so please excuse me if I keep on looking down. Um, but we're going to talk about genetically inherited conditions in Australian Shepherds. There are a couple of things that are um, very prominent in Aussies that you want to ask a breeder about um, to make sure that your animal is not going to have these later on in life. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to cover is hip and joint issues in an Australian Shepherd. Um, hip dysplasia is a big thing in Aussies. Um, you can avoid hip dysplasia quite easily if you make sure that the mom and the dad don't have hip dysplasia. It's actually important to even make sure that the grandparents didn't have hip dysplasia. A reputable breeder will probably have records from the parents' parents, so your puppy's grandparents, to prove that there is no hip dysplasia running in that genetic line. Um, so it's important to just make sure that hip dysplasia is not a big thing when it comes to the breeder that you choose. The next thing is to look for cruciate ligament ruptures. And cruciate ligament is basically a ligament that's in the knee to stabilize the knee. And you just want to make sure that there's not a, a big history of cruciate ligament ruptures in the line that your breeder is using. Um, it's fine to have one cruciate ligament here and there rupture. Um, it's not going to be necessarily strictly genetic, but if you see that there's a kind of pattern happening where there's a lot of cruciate ligament ruptures that have happened in that breeder's line, then your puppy is probably going to be prone to cruciate ligament ruptures as well. So um, that's another thing to just keep in mind. The the biggest issue with Australian Shepherd's eyes is collie eye anomaly, and that is a completely inherited genetic condition. It can have a range of effects, so basically you can just have like the vascular tissue behind the eye being um, degenerated, or you can have full-on um, detachment of the retina. So this condition can range from very limited vision impairment to complete blindness. So you want to make sure that this does not run in the line that your breeder is using. Um, if a offspring has collie eye anomaly, that means that both parents carried that mutated gene. So whatever line that breeder is using is not supposed to technically be bred. So that's something to talk about with your breeder. Make sure that they don't have any of that happening in the lines that they're using. Okay, so the next thing is epilepsy. Now epilepsy is not necessarily something that is always genetically inherited, but it is a big issue in Australian Shepherds. So you want to make sure that you ask whether or not the mom and the dad, you want to make sure that they haven't had any epileptic seizures in the past. Because technically speaking, dogs that have had seizures before, epileptic seizures, should not be bred. So you don't want a puppy that comes from a parent that has had that happen in the past. Um, it's a very expensive thing to take care of later on in life, and it's a very hard thing to see your animal go through later on in life. So always ask about epilepsy before you get an Australian Shepherd puppy. The next and last thing that I'm going to talk about um, is probably one of the most important, and what it is called is a MDR1 mutation. MDR1 mutations are very common in Australian Shepherds. What they are, it's basically a mutation that doesn't let your dog process certain drugs properly. So some of the drugs out there are things like ivermectin. Ivermectin is a um, anti-helminthic. It's something that's used for um, parasite killing, for killing parasites, basically. Um, and also some anesthetics out there are not able to be processed by animals with this mutation as well. So it's really important to know if your animal has an MDR1 mutation because 
if they're exposed to a medication that they can't process, it can be lethal. So you want to make sure that both of the parents are either tested for MDR1 mutations or that they've been exposed to these medications already and haven't had a adverse reaction. Just make sure that you, you ask your breeder about this. The MDR1 mutation is actually so common that probably about half of Australian Shepherds actually carry one um, of the copies of this type of mutation. So it's very common in Australian Shepherds. There's many more. I'm going to put a link down below to the Australian Shepherd Genetics Institute. It'll help you understand the vast majority of genetic issues. But the ones that I've listed are the ones that you really want to talk to your breeder about before you decide on a peppy. Um, some breeders will actually test um, genetically for some of these conditions. It's nice to have a breeder that invests in their dogs and has proper genetic workups and annual checkups on their animals just to see if there's any um, degenerative conditions in the eyes or any type of hip dysplasia, anything that could possibly be passed to their puppies. A good breeder is the breeder that takes out an animal if they know that those traits are going to be passed down to the offspring. So I hope that this helped. I hope that this gives you some things to talk with your breeder about. Any breeder is going to be thrilled that you've taken the time to properly educate yourself on these conditions and they're going to feel like you're a, you know, a good home if you've actually taken the time to research a little bit about the breed. So thank you so much for watching you guys. Um, I have put up two previous videos on things to consider when you want to get an Australian Shepherd puppy. You can always check those, they're going to be linked down below as well. And yeah, thanks for watching, see you guys later, bye!